What is up guys, it's Mitch here once again and if you didn't see the last video on the cube I made a espresso or double espresso, short black, whatever you want to call it um, and I made a comment about milk being bad and I copped a little bit of shit for it So, I'm going to show you guys how well the San Remo cube does steam milk uh, for latte art, it actually is pretty impressive for such a little machine um, and on that note, I've actually got the machine set at 120 degrees Celsius boiler temp which is fairly low um, and does slightly affect how well it can steam milk and it will still do it well, I promise. Um, I've done it with alternative milks, full cream fat milks and all those things. So I'm gonna do full cream milk, high quality Riverina. If you do low quality milk, you're gonna end up with low quality milk. It's pretty simple. So spend the extra money, get good quality milk. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it using this little guy that comes with the cube, um, it's actually quite a nice jug. I'm not a fan of the Motta style, which is that really rounded, weird shape. But anyway, I'm gonna do it with that so that you guys know you can buy the machine, go and make coffee. So, I'm gonna get into it. I'm gonna move the camera so you don't have to stare at my face anymore, and I'll see you in a second. So I'm gonna show you a quick little trick that I was taught by Jibby Little, um, so Jibby Jug, I'll show you those in a second anyway. Think of the jug in three sections, okay? So pretend that this is your steam wand and you got point A, B, and C. I never use A. Um, try it at home, you'll see why. And I, I personally don't use B, but you guys probably should if you don't have a lot of experience using milk. And then you got C, which I will use today. Um, I find it works better for my technique, but it can spin the milk a little bit too quick where this gives you a little bit more time, a little bit more room to stretch and kind of fix any little mistakes you've made in the milk. So stick to B, it works just fine. So we're going to get stuck into it, pop some good quality milk in and we're going to fill it to about here, so just below that spout. About that. Always purge. Get that little bit of water uh, moisture sitting in the bottom, otherwise you will just bubble your milk a lot. Lift your jug up, just so that the tip is sitting in the milk. And you can hear the hissing sound that's pushing the air into the milk but as it swirls. So if you can see, it is sort of spinning the milk at the same time. And then once you reach your level desire of stretch, so you kind of aim for about 30% stretch in my opinion, anywhere around there. Raise the jug up a tiny bit. Once you've reached your desired temperature, shut it off. Always wipe. Always purge. Um, look after your machine, it'll look after you as they say. So always clean up your mess. It's not an OCD lesson, but anyway. So that's some pretty good milk. Got that sort of micro foam. Um, wet paint texture is kind of what you want to look for. So if you swirl it and it looks like wet paint, you've nailed it. So I'm going to make a quick shot and I'm going to pour a little bit of latte art using a slightly different jug. I'll get back to you, Barry. As I was saying before, I am going to use a different jug, um, and I'm actually using one of Jibby's jugs here. Very, very different shape. Um, this is much more my desired style of jug. These pour a little bit too fast for my liking, but that's just me. And I also get the benefit of splitting the milk so that you get rid of a little bit of the bad stuff that I don't like in the milk. Um, it just kills the texture. Not that this is textured absolutely perfect, because I'm no means a latte art expert. Give everything a little bit of a swirl. Wait till it settles. And this is just mixing in the milk to your espresso. It's 
So, like I said, I'm no latte art expert, um, and these are not exactly latte glasses. That's all just in my defense. But anyway, as you can see, you can definitely steam milk on this machine. Um, I've definitely done better milk than that um, when there's not a camera in my face. But that works quite well. So a couple of little pointers. Use a good quality milk jug. This is a good quality milk jug. It's just not my preferred style. Um, good quality milk, guys. If you don't use good quality milk, you're not going to end up with good quality milk. Wow, what do you know? So that's it. I think it works pretty well. Um, decent amount of foam on top of that coffee. Um, I will take it down and show you if you like. Let's do it. Let's vlog style. So as you can see, it's not bad. Decent quality. Pretty cool. But yeah, that's it guys. So if you'd like to see more of this sort of stuff, let me know. Um, anything else you'd like to see on the machine, drop a comment below. And we will also have soon um, some of the merch, so some of the new shirts. Got a few designs being put away, but it has taken a little bit longer because of things and I'm not going to say the C word. But thanks so much for watching guys. Please hit the like button. It takes you 10 seconds to do all of it. If that, like, subscribe, hit the bell and that will really help us out. So we can do more of this stuff, show you bigger and better things in the future. Thanks so much for watching guys and happy brewing.